this video I'm going to show you what happens when you run batteries of different capacities in parallel together. So this top battery here is a 280 amp hour 48 volt lithium phosphate battery. So it's comprised of 16 prismatic cells in a series configuration. So this bottom battery here is a 48 volt 100 amp hour lithium phosphate battery. And this one is comprised of 16 separate packs of paralleled cylindrical cells and together they run in series to form a 48 volt battery. So this one's about 13 kilowatt hours and this one's about 4.8 kilowatt hours. I personally think kilowatt hours is a better measurement than amp hours because people tend to get confused about the capacity of batteries across different voltages for the same amount of amp hours. So this top battery I've been running for a few months, this one I've only just built and I'm just going to connect it for the first time so I can show you exactly what happens when you run these in parallel. Both of these batteries are connected to their own individual JK BMS. So JK BMS is good because they have Bluetooth access and they give you a lot of things you can configure. So what I'm using to monitor these is a home assistant server that has a Bluetooth connection to both of these BMSs. And that way I can monitor and track and keep a record of everything's happening between these batteries. So stick around, I'll show you what happens when we do it. Alright, so the batteries are all fully balanced now. Now I've got the, both the batteries at fully 100% state of charge. Now I'm just going to switch it on and watch what happens. Okay guys, so check this out. So this is a custom dashboard I've made in my home assistant server. So this battery 1 JK280 is the big 280 amp hour battery. And the other side here is battery 2 JK100 amp hour battery. So yeah, home assistant's great because I can connect to both JK BMSs once using a Batmon add-on. So it connects to the Bluetooth um, connection on the Jet BMSs both at the same time and continually monitors it and you can kind of choose whichever um, parameters you want to show in your own little dashboards you can do like um, dials and stuff like this there's a lot of things you can do with it so it's quite good but at the moment you can see they're both pretty much fully charged 9.69 and 99.59 it's pretty much 100% charged at the moment this battery one JK280 is receiving 1400 watts of charge current so this is like a recording of the home assistant. So basically I recorded what happened when I first turned on battery 2 JK100. Um, so I'll show you what happens here when I switch this other one on. At the moment you can see the current is currently zero because it's not connected. So the voltage of this one is at 55.5 and this one's 53.2. So the voltage is lower on this one. So you see what happens. So we just turned it on then and now we're getting 2700 watts coming into the battery 2 and there's 800 watts coming out of the battery 280 to the battery 100. This voltage climbs up close to the same as this one, and this current will start to balance out between these two batteries. So I'll skip forward and show you. Skip forward in the video here, so... I'll skip this forward to 50... So both the voltages are at uh, 56.3 now, pretty close, and you can see the current starting to get closer charge current. Um, these cell voltages are climbing up too because this is the highest cell voltage, 3.54, highest cell voltage 3.56. So yeah, as these cell voltages start to align, it starts to balance up nicely. Now these batteries are both pretty much fully charging. See the current start dropping down on both of them. So as you can see, there was no problem just connecting with them both fully charged together. They just quickly balance each other out. And now they're charging in line. And I'll show you what happens when you discharge and charge them at high currents, these different size batteries. Okay, so this is actually live on home assistant server now. And this chart is from a couple of days ago. So you can see here we've got this bottom purple line here. And you can see there up here it tells you. So the purple or pinkish is uh, the JK100 and battery two. And this other blue line here is a battery one. So it's a 280 amp hour battery over here so you can see the, the percentage has dropped lower quite a bit lower on the battery 2 which is 100 amp hour one but 61 percent by uh, 6 a.m and this one is only 71 percent the battery one down here you can see so the battery one was actually still drawing more current most of the time so there's minus 900 minus 1000 watts 4 a.m and this one's only pulling the battery one was only losing 200 watts in that time period so even though more current was coming out of battery one, it was still um, 
at a high capacity at the time of the morning, and that's because it's obviously quite a bit bigger, more than twice the size. So, but you'll see down at 6 a.m. when they start charging again, very quickly, like down here, you can see this is when it starts charging. So this is the, um, the current. This is the power going in and out of the battery down here, and this is the actual state of charge. But down here, you can see that at um, 7.30 a.m., battery one was getting a lot more current put into it. Like by 8 a.m., it was getting 4,500 watts, and this one's still only getting 734 watts. And you can see how this one started dropping off here while this one was getting a lot more current. And that's how it kind of catches up. So if you look up the top here, they start to converge. So this one will, battery um, two, JK100, will quickly catch up percentage-wise and be converged with the battery one. So they both really go line and get um, balanced. At the very top here, they're both charged around the same time, 100%. So they kind of just balance each other out. So it works out well. And you'll see the same thing happens over here. So this is over in the afternoon. So the battery two JK100 dropped down to 54%. That was at, that was by 6 a.m. the next day. This one dropped down to 65%, so the battery one. And then again, you can see the next morning when they charge, they converge again and balance out. So I'm pretty sure like, if I continually just charge these batteries, both of them down to almost zero, I think the same thing would happen as it does when you charge it. So obviously when you charge them up, they start to align and the percentage um, ends up at around 100% around about the same time. I think like the same thing would happen if you just charge them down to 0%. So these lines, as you come closer to zero, would start to converge and cross each other and it would end up empty at the same time. Because as the voltage of this one, battery two starts dropping lower, then more current will start coming into battery one. Because basically power tries to flow in the direction of the lowest voltage. So obviously uh, um, as this drops lower, more power will start coming out of this because it's got a high voltage. And then I think eventually they'll start to cross and finish at zero at the same time. I haven't tested that yet, but I'll have to test that at one point. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Just thought I would share it with everyone. You maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't, that's fine. If you want to see more of my content, please make sure you like, subscribe, because that helps out the channel a lot. And uh, catch you on the next one.